In the following video, we're going to examine and explore the reasons why you might get a black screen when connecting to a virtual desktop with the PC OIP protocol. So firstly, I'm going to look at my desktop pool. And here I've got my link clone pool. And if I select inventory, I can see that I have two machines. I'm going to come to my virtual center and I'm going to have a look at these two machines. So I've got LC pool one. Okay, and we can see that it has an IP address, it's got a DNS name, and we can see that I have LC pool 2, similarly has an IP address, has a DS, DNS name. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ping both of these machines. I'm going to make sure that I have network connectivity to both. And I'm just going to bring the command window down so we can see the IP at the same time. So type ping 172.20.11. Dot 200 and we can see I get a reply no problem and then if I click LC pool 1 the IP address is 201 so again I'm going to open my command prompt press up to bring back the last command get rid of the 0 add in the 1 so now I'm trying to ping 172.20.11.201 press enter and we can see that we have network connectivity there I'm going to close the command prompt I can also see that Tools is running. I'm on the current or latest version of Tools. It's a Windows 10 machine. And I can see that LC Pool 1 is on ESXiO 2. And LC Pool 2 is on ESXiO 1. So my VMs are split across two hosts. And that's, that's important and we'll explore why in a moment. So I'm going to minimize the window here first. And I'm going to select my client. I'm going to double click to connect to my connection server. And first I'm going to test with Horizon user A. I enter the password, select login. I'm going to right click and I can see I'm using PCIP. So that's the protocol that I've pre-selected. I double click the pool. You see that the desktop tries to load. I get a black screen for a moment and then the connection fails. Now, if I come to back into my Horizon Admin page and I do a quick refresh, I can see that I didn't even get to the point where there was an attempt to contact the machine. It died out before this happened. So I can't be 100% certain as to which VM I tried to contact. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to launch the client again, connect to the connection server, but this time I'm going to try and connect with a different user because maybe the issue was tied to Horizon user A. So I need to rule this bit out first. Similarly, right click. I can see the PCIP is a default protocol that's been selected. Double click the pool. The desktop tries to load. And we get a black screen and we get the same error message. Now, the reason that I tested with Horizon user A and then Horizon user B is when I come across issues like this, uh, connection problems or, or black screen problems, something along these lines, I need to look at the problem from a larger perspective. Is the issue tied to a single user? Is the issue tied to a single machine? Is it only a problem if the machine is on a particular host? Do I get the same issue if I try a different protocol? So what I'm going to do now is open up the client again, connect with again, I'll stick with Horizon user B. I enter the password, but this time I'm gonna change the protocol back to blast. So I double click the pool. We see the desktop is loading. But this time I'm actually getting connected in now. So again, this is interesting. So now I know that the VM itself potentially is okay. Because if the VM was problematic, then I probably wouldn't be able to connect through Blast. So what this tells me straight away is that my VMware tools and my VMware, uh, the Horizon View agent, are both installed in the correct order and aren't creating any problems. And this is really important information to know because now I can rule out 
a particular problem area. I don't have to now go looking at the master image to see is the tools installed correctly, is the agent installed correctly, were they done in the correct order, is auto tools upgrade set so that the tools will get updated automatically, which can overwrite driver versions. Right now, because Horizon user B is been able to is able to connect to the desktop and the VM is now loaded successfully. I know for certain that the tools and agent are not playing a problem in the PCIP issue. If they were, I wouldn't have been able to connect with Blast either. Now, just to be sure, I'm going to type command. I'm going to wait for the command prompt to come up and I'm just going to type in hostname. And I can see now that I'm connected with LC hyphen pool hyphen two. So this is the desktop that I'm connected to. So if I minimize this and I come back into my connection server, I can see that pool two connected without a problem using blast. So I now need to take a step back and look at what I already know. I was able to ping both LC pool one and LC pool two. I was able to connect with Horizon user B with no problem when I used Blast. Now I can come back to my machine. I'll disconnect and log off with Horizon user B. And I'll connect in with Horizon user A using Blast as well. And I know that this will work too. But just to confirm, let's run through this. So I change B to A, enter the password ensure that I'm connecting with Blast, which I am, and double click. We see the desktop is loading, and again, I'm going to connect through. So now I am 100% certain that the issue is not tied to a particular user. It's not tied to where the VMs reside. It's not tied to the network connectivity because I'm able to ping it. So this tells me that there must be something along the lines of PCIP ports. So this is now where I would need to step back and check things. So I can now tie this issue down to being a, a potential port issue. So I'll minimize this window. i open up my connection server again. Uh, sorry, my admin, my admin console. Just gonna refresh and I can actually see that Horizon user A is connected to LC pool one, which is perfect. So I've been able to connect to LC pool one and LC pool two without any problems. But what I need to do now is check the configuration at the server side, because potentially there's an issue here with the connection server or how the ports are configured or the ports on the machine. So if I connect to servers first under view configuration, if I select SA con server and select edit, I now have my tunnel information available and I can see that the secure tunnel is enabled. And if I click into the external URL, I can see all the information is correct and the correct port is in use. And if I look at the PCIP secure gateway, I can see that it's checked. But as I look a little bit closer now, I can see that the PCIP external URL, it's actually not correct here. And what's missing is the correct port number. So it should be set to port 4172 because port 4172 is what's used for PCIP connections. But in my external URL, I've set it to port 412. Now, this is quite a common issue. You know, somebody does a typo or uh, puts in the wrong port or puts in an extra number, double clicks, misses a click. These are common things that can happen. So what I now need to do is I just need to type in 4172 press OK. This is going to update the configuration of the connection server. I'm going to come back into the client and I am going to disconnect and log off. And I'm going to try and connect again with PCIP. So I'll minimize this. Double click the client. Again, connect to my connection server. Um, I'm going to go in with Horizon user A. I enter the password. Now, potentially, Horizon user A is still logging off from the machine, so I might get thrown out here, which is fine. So I'll just double check again because potentially I did a typo on the password. 
and reconnecting. Now I need to right click on the pool, change the protocol to PCIP. I'm going to right click again just to verify. I can see PCIP is selected. And I'm going to double click the pool and we can see that the desktop is now loading. I see the black screen, but I'm now taking a step further and the user is connecting into the pool. So he's going to get one of the desktops, either LC pool one or LC pool two. And we now know that PCIP is, is a functioning protocol for us. So again, I'll just open the command prompt and just type in hostname. And I can see that I've connected to LC pool one successfully. So just to recap along the black screen issues, when we see a black, black screen connection, we need to take a step back and really look at things from a, a higher overview. Firstly, do the VMs that I'm trying to connect to have network connectivity available? So do they have an IP address I can ping? Do they have a DNS name that's available? Am I able to access it? Can I do a, a lookup on that name? The next thing I need to check is, is it tied to a particular host? So maybe I have an issue on host one, but not host two. Now you can see from what we did here, we had two VMs on separate hosts. We were able to connect into both of the VMs across the host. So I, I'm able to rule out that the hosts are a problem here. I then took a step back and changed the protocol. Um, so what we did was we changed to BLAST and we were able to connect in with both users using BLAST. So this tells me that both the, the VMware tools and the Horizon agent were installed in the correct order. If they were installed in the incorrect order, we'd have an issue with driver versions and we wouldn't be able to connect in that way, but we'd probably be affected across all protocols in that sense. It wouldn't be tied to just PCOIP. We also tried to log in with multiple users. So we tried Horizon user A and Horizon user B, and neither of them could connect with PCIP, but both could connect with Blast. So that told us again that it wasn't tied to a specific user, that this was an issue that affected everybody. We then looked at the connection server configuration, and it was at that point that we saw that there was a misconfiguration under the uh, view configuration section for the server, for the connection server, that there had been a typo when entering the port for the PCIP secure gateway. Once we addressed this typo, we were then able to connect in with PCIP with no issue. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This concludes the demo.